Hello, welcome to Strong and Slow Flow Yoga. And today we are going to be getting into the hips and the back. So you may want some block for the low lunge portion of that. And the strap we're just gonna use at the end. And you may not even need one at all if you don't want to, but if you want to do a bridge in your future that requires a strap, one of those options, then you might wanna bring it in. If you do not wanna take the hand, behind the leg to do a basic hamstring stretch, then you may want to bring a strap in. Otherwise, you won't need the strap today. And I do have a folded blanket that I'm sitting on. I will use it for knee cushion um, a little bit later as well. So find what you need. And when you're ready, we're going to sit nice and tall in the way that's best for you. So I'm crisscross applesauce. You know, some people are more comfortable if their legs are out forward. You might be more comfortable if you're sitting back on the heels. So however you need to sit, I'm going to recommend that you sit. And if you close your eyes or if your eyes are open, but your gaze is cast down, but in front of you, envision a nice tall spine. So maybe ears, shoulders, and hips are a little bit more in line with each other. Not perfect, but a little bit more in line with each other. And then could you support that back with a nice strong front? So finding that center line of engagement kind of a drawing up and in, if you will, like you're trying to fit into your favorite pair of jeans just came out of the dryer. But you don't want this engagement to be so intense that you can't sit here, breathe here, or be here with ease. And we'll come into our breath. So without making any changes, just notice, is that breath calm, smooth, rapid, choppy, anxious? Mm -hmm. Do you breathe in and out through the nose? In and out through the mouth? Or a combination? Do you expand the rib cage when you inhale? Do you breathe with the shoulders? Do you breathe with belly? And then as you inhale through the nose, could you find some expansion in that breath? Maybe holding at the top and slowly exhaling down or out. And we'll go again, inhale and expand, holding at the top. And slowly release. And one last time, inhale to expand, holding at the top. And slowly release. Good, from here, fingertips to the side, palms turning up, inhale, reach, reach, reach. Good. And just let the shoulders relax if they lift it up. And as we touch the hands together and you bring them down into heart center, good, creating an intention for your practice. What would you like to give or receive? You can dedicate this practice to someone or something, but you can always kind of follow along with me. I'm gonna give you different affirmations, positive life affirmations as I like to call them as we go through. And so you can always ponder those as your intention as we go. And then from here, we'll take it up. Good. And we'll take a nice side bend to the left. Reaching over, nice long arm over the ear. Breathing and expanding through that rib cage as best as you can. And then you choose, you can stay here. You can come out, you can side bend, you can deeper, that is, you can open up to the back, that's gonna feel one way. If forward flexion of the spine is okay, you can see curve roll and taking that um, forehead in the direction of that knee, but not touching. Good, inhale and lengthen. Exhale, engage, coming all the way back up. Reach, reach, reach. Good, we'll take that over to the other side. 
Nice long top arm. Breathing and expanding into that rib cage. And then when you're ready, you can stay here. You can come out. You can side bend deeper. You can choose to open to the back. Or you can find that C curve roll. So move in a way that's good for your body, good for your back. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, we'll come back up and we'll reach again. And gentle rotation towards the left, rolling shoulders back, looking a little bit behind you. And inhale to lift. Exhale, move through center. Inhale, exhale, rolling shoulders back. Expanding that rib cage as you breathe. And when we're ready, we'll come back up and we'll come back to center. So before we go into all fours, I wanna open up the shoulders a little bit because we've got camel in our practice today and that works if our shoulders are a little bit more open for the back bending. So just take your arms up to the side, palms can be down, really reaching from the shoulders to the fingertips. From the shoulders, could you turn them up? And then could you turn them back? Good. And then from here, good. We're just gonna rotate. Now, if you're able to see what you're doing, could you notice any compensations or limitations? So for me, at least, you'll probably see I have better shoulder rotation on one side than I do the other. And on the other side where I don't have good shoulder rotation, I compensate at the elbow. So notice where you're kind of compensating or your limitations are. Good, palms up, hands to shoulders, and we'll move forward and back. Good, now we'll just take that into some circles. And then other direction. Good, and then just shake that out. Once you're ready, we'll come to all fours. So if you need a knee cushion, you can always bring a blanket or a little pillow in. You can always fold up your mat a little bit if you need that. Now I'm gonna bring in a knee cushion today. We've got storms and everything kind of in the area moving in and my knees <laughs> don't always like that. So from here, Good, I'm just gonna cushion them. This can also be done on the forearms as well, forearms on the floor or the block if you need to not be on your wrist. But I'm gonna spread my fingers nice and wide here. I'm gonna root through the knuckles of the pinky, the pointer and thumb. Elbows can have a slight bent to them. Belly button is in, inhale. Chest comes forward, pelvic tilts back, nice cow pose. Exhale and round, mad cat pose, looking towards the knee. Inhale. Exhale. Good. And then from here, once you're ready, good. Let's take that back into a child's pose. Just a simple one, nothing too fancy. And when you're ready, good. we're gonna come back up. So we're gonna do an opposite arm leg balance here. I'm gonna start by taking the left leg back, pressing evenly into the big toe and pinky toe mounds, letting that left hip drop just a little bit. Elbows can be slightly bent here, and my belly button is in. So I'm just gonna press back through that heel, getting a nice leg stretch here. Although today I don't feel it so much in my leg as I do in the center part of my foot. Actually feels pretty good. And I'm gonna come forward. You can stay here, but you can lift up all the way to hip height. Just don't let the dip, you know, happen in the back. So you wanna keep that nice and long. And if you're stable there, then the right arm can come forward. Good, and we're just holding and breathing. Press out of the left shoulder if you can.
And then from here, good, we'll take that down. Good. And we'll wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Let's take that to the other side. Good. So right leg's going to come back, pressing evenly to big toe and pinky toe mound. Right hip's going to drop. So again, even on this leg, I don't feel so much in the leg as I do in the center part of my foot. But must have needed a stretch today. Good. And once you're ready, good. We'll come forward. Good. You can tap the toe, a gentle lift of the toe. Good. No higher than hip height. Keep the back long. If you're stable, left arm's going to come forward, pressing out of that right shoulder. Breathing. And then we'll take that down. We will come into a juicier child's pose here. So knees can be together. They can be as wide as your mat or somewhere in between. You can take your arms long in front of you or hands can come back by the ankle. Find what feels good to your body. Breathe and expand. And then from here, good. Hands come under the shoulders and we'll press up. Good. We're going to make our way into a downward facing dog. So remember, you can always kind of be on forearms here in the dolphin pose if being on your hands is not comfortable for you. But if you're a taller person, take a half a hands width or full hands width forward. Shorter people can stay where you are. And then I'm spreading my fingers wide. I'm going to root again through the knuckles of pinky, porter, and thumb. As I shift back, and tuck my toes. I'm pressing in and forward into the mat as I lift my knees and lift my hips. Good. Good. And then from here, once you're ready, just kind of find your good down dog form. So elbows can have a bend in them if they need to. I'm going to turn my elbows though towards my pointer and thumb so my shoulders are a little bit more stable. Shoulders are away from the ears. My gaze is at my toes, my head and neck are free. Knees can be bent, they can be long. Find what feels good to you. You can choose stillness. You can lift and lower through the heels. You can bend one knee, lengthen one leg at a time. Yeah. And then from here, once you're ready, inhale, look forward, bend the knees, walk. Step or hop your feet forward to meet your hand. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale, little bow. And just take a moment here. Let the knees bend, let the head and neck be free. And then from here, pressing into the feet and the legs, we're going to come all the way up to standing. And exhale, hands to heart center. Okay. Finding breath, the mountain. Intention. Okay. So first affirmation we're going to give you today is life is beautiful. Life is beautiful. We're going to do a half sun salute and then we're going to go right into the fold. Big inhale and we reach. Exhale and we'll fold. Coming to blocks if you can't easily touch the floor. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Nice long spine. But remember also here you can also be at the shins or the thighs. And exhale and we'll bow. From here, pressing through the feet and the legs, we're going to come all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. And we'll take this into three sun salutations here. You choose when we step back into the plank. If you want to hold that, if you want to come all the way down and do a cobra, if you want to take the flow into up dog, you can also go into... Um, child's pose or down dog there and skip that part entirely. So move how your body needs you to move. Life is beautiful. Big inhale when we reach. Exhale and we'll fold. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale and we'll bow. From here, planting the hands. Step or hop back to plank. You choose. Take or skip a flow if you're flowing. Mind the shoulders. Halfway down is all you need. Try not to collapse. If you collapse, you're not ready for that yet. 
question. Practice smart. From downward facing dog, inhale, look forward, bend the knees, walk, step, or half your feet forward to make a hand. Inhale, lift and lengthen heavily. And so about from here, rooting through the feet and the legs, we'll rise all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale and we'll lift. Exhale and we'll fold. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale, we'll bow. From here, planting the hands. Step or hop back to plank. You choose to take or skip a flow. I'm going to skip this one. From downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward, bend the knees, walk, step, or hop your feet forward to meet your hands. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale and we'll bow. Rooting through the feet and the legs, we'll rise all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Last one like this. Inhale and we'll lift. Exhale and we'll fold. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale, we'll bow. From here, planting the hands. Step or hop back to plank. You choose. Take or skip a flow. Notice how you feel. Come back to your good downward facing dog. Form. And from down dog. Inhale, look forward. Bend the knees, walk, step, or hop your feet forward to meet your hands. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale, and we'll bow. Rooting through the feet and the legs. We're going to rise all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Finding breath, mountain, and tension. Okay. From here, we're going to take this into a sun to loop B. And just so that you know, when we step back um, into the Sun Salute Beat, instead of Warrior 1, we're going to come into a Warrior 2 there, okay? So from here, um, if you've got a balance or a back issue, something like that, or maybe you're just generally newer, uh, follow me with hip width apart. If you don't have any of those issues, you can step the feet and the legs together. But from here, good, I'm going to lift my arms up, relaxing the shoulders. And then I'm going to sit back into my chair. Okay. So if you're hip width apart, hips, knees, and toes track here. Good. Could you find your heels a little bit more? Finding the glute. Nice long back if possible. Arms can go wherever they can go. And let's move them while we're here. Good. So I'm just going to move forward and back. Good. And then from here, we'll take them down. We'll go out to the side. Good. And then take them back where they feel good to you. Inhale, exhale, and we'll fold. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale, and we'll bow. From here, plant the hands. Step or hop back to plank. You choose. Take or skip the flow. And remember, too, if you've got a back issue, Generally not a good idea to do the dump back into the plank. So be mindful of that. Stepping back is always going to be safer. So from your down dog, left leg's going to lift three points, bending that knee. Good. We're going to open to the left. I'm pressing into the right leg. My shoulders are even. My gaze is to my right toes. And from here, hip and knee are going to come back even to the floor. I'm going to shift forward, step or pick up and put that left foot forward between the hands. Good. From the right hip, everything's going to turn out to the right. Good. And then once you're ready, pressing into your heels, we're going to come up. We're going to prep for warrior two. So front hip will come back here. So the knee track towards the pinky toe. Good. I'm just going to open my chest and reach my arms. Finding your warrior too. 
As far as leg placement goes, it really depends on how your hips are and how your low back is in the moment. So some people are heel to heel, some people are heel to arch, some people need just a little bit wider. It just kind of depends on the person. Good. I'm going to lengthen my leg. I'm going to take my arms up overhead, reaching. And then from here, good. You can stay here if you don't wish to go into Hubble Warrior. I'm going to come back into my Warrior Two knee here. Good. And then I'm going to lengthen as I take this down. So hands can also come to block here. Okay. Watch this front knee. You want it to be over or behind the ankle, tracking towards pinky toe. It doesn't fall inward. You can stay here. You can shift the hips back. Maybe you come to forearms. Depends. And once ready, good. I'm going to come up. Since I came all the way down, I'm just going to walk around here and frame the front foot and then swivel up the back foot. If you stayed up, put a bend of the knee and then come down and frame the front foot. Front foot's going to step back and you choose take or skip a flow. And notice how you feel from one side to the other. Good. So life is beautiful. I am in charge of how I feel. I am in charge of how I feel. And today I choose joy. I'm in charge of how I feel. And today I choose joy. From your down dog, right leg's gonna lift three point, bending that knee. We're gonna open up to the right. Good, strong left leg, even shoulders, head and neck are free. Gaze or to those left toes. Hip and knee are going to come back even to the floor. Good. We're going to shift forward. Step or pick up and put the right foot forward between the hands. Good. From the left hip, we'll warrior prep that side. Good. So apologies here. You're going to get my backside here in a moment. Good. Pressing through the heels and we'll come up. Good. So prepping for warrior two, front hip will come back. Knee tracks towards pinky toe. Good. Try not to shift the hips as you... Take your chest a little bit more to the side. So if you're someone that moves your hips with your chest to the side in Warrior Two, notice how that feels to your back. And then take the front hip back and back it forward. And then try to turn the torso to the side without moving the hip. Let's see which one feels better to your back. Good, lengthening that front leg, we'll take the arms up. So you're welcome to stay here. Again, if you're going to go into the humble warrior, good. I'm going to find my warrior too. Good. I'm going to reach. And I'm going to take that down. Good. So hands can come down. You can come to the forearms. So on this side, I need blocks to come onto the forearms today. So I'm going to bring mine in here. Good. Again, watch this knee. Okay. It tracks towards the pinky toe. It doesn't fall inward. Finding a nice long back. Once you're ready, good. From here, I'm going to walk my hands around here, framing that front foot. So if you stayed up, you'll want to come down and do that. Swivel off the back foot, front foot steps back. You choose, take or skip a flow. And from downward facing dog, inhale, look forward, bend the knees, walk, step, or half your feet forward to meet your hands. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale, and bow. From here, coming back to your chair. And pressing through the feet and the legs, coming back up. Good. Okay. So this next one, we're going to step back into a crescent. We're going to step back into a crescent. So from here, I'm going to start by taking my right leg back. Good. So kind of find the appropriate width for you here. 
We're on parallel railroad tracks. Back heel's not grounded. Good. Front hip will come back. And zip up that front body. We want that nice inner line of engagement. Now notice how this feels if arms are to the side. And particularly, how does it feel in the back? Does that change a little bit when you come out to the side? Does it change when you come back up? So how about, I believe in myself and my dream. I believe in myself and my dream. Arms are going to come forward. Eagle arm. Left arm's going to come on top of the right. You can hug yourself or you can wrap. Find it where you need to find it. And once you're ready, good. We'll take that back up. Good. Watch that front knee descend with control. Hands are going to come back on the inside of that foot. Good. We're going to walk it out now. Wide leg forward fold. So take a moment. Check in with your feet. You want hips, knees, and toes facing forward. You want to press to the outer edges of the feet. You can stay right here. You can come to a block. You can take forearms down. You can come to the shins, the feet, the toes. Arms can reach behind you. Be where you'd like to be. Block can come under the head too. Pressing through the outer edges of the feet here. We'll come back up. Good. So from here, we're going to walk those hands back around, framing that left foot, front foot steps back, take or skip a flow. Good. Now, for the sake of a few things here, I'm just going to switch sides, but you are fine where you are. Good. And then from the down dog, inhale, look forward, bend the knees, walk, step or hop your feet forward to meet your hands. Inhale, lift up and lengthen halfway. Exhale, we'll fold. From here, pressing through the feet and the legs. We'll come all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. How about, I believe in my potential. I believe in my potential. So now we're gonna step the left leg back. We'll step the left leg back. Find your up runner. Find your balance, find your stability here. Front hip will come back just a little bit. And then again, just kind of notice, and this might be about the same or completely different. How do things feel when your arms are here? What about here? And then what about here? Good. Good. Arms are gonna come forward. Right arm on top of the left. You can hug yourself or you can wrap. Find it where you need to find it. Could you come back to that center line of engagement? This is a balance challenge. And when we're ready, release. Good. Control the descent. Watch that front knee as you come down. Hands on the inside of that foot. Good. We're going to walk that back out. Good. Come into your good position. Hip, knees, and toes track forward, pressing through the outer edges of the feet. You can do the same fold that you did before or a different one. Good. I'm going to take Yogi Toe on this one, I think. And you want a nice long back here. Breathing. And then from here, once you're ready, good. I'm going to release my toes. I'm going to come back to my wide leg forward fold. I'm going to walk my hands back around towards that right foot, swiveling up the left side, cleaning the hand, front foot steps back. You choose take or skip the last flow of this class. And then once you're ready, 
Good. You can drop those knees down and find a juicy child's pose. The arms can be long. Good. Find it where you need to find it. Breathe and expand. And then once you're ready, good, we're going to come back up. So from here, I'm going to bring my blanket back in for some knee cushion. And I'm going to bring my block in here as well. Take a sip of water too. Good. So we're going to take this into a low lunge and we're going to get into the hips and we're going to prepare for a camel. So from here, good, I've got my block, aka my break, my support. I'm going to start by taking my left leg forward. And I want to take it far enough forward. So when I bend this knee, the knee is over behind the ankle and the heel stays grounded. Okay. This is really uncomfortable for what we're going to do here. So I really want the knee to be over or behind the ankle. Good. So I've got my blocks here. My left hip is back. I'm lengthening through that torso. Good. Center line is engaged, and I'm just letting my body and gravity get into the hip flexors and the quads on that right side. Good. How about I feel inspired and inspire others? I feel inspired and inspire others. And then from here, good. I'm just gonna back off just a little bit. And then we're going to take this into a bit of a hip opener. So I'm just gonna move my left block out of the way here. I'm gonna take my left hand to the left side. For some of you, this might be it, just being up here. You can turn to the left. You can open the left knee hip to the left. I'm on the edge of that foot. You can stay here or you can bend the back knee. Maybe you can grab pants or a foot. Just open. Now the trick to this not hurting the back knee, one is flexibility and all that kind of stuff, but you also wanna make sure that your knee is behind the hip. If you're trying to do this with the knee under the hip, you're gonna be on the kneecap and your kneecap's not gonna be happy at you. It will probably send you some curses. So be mindful of your body. Good, I'm gonna release. We're gonna take this back to a half flip pose. So I want my hip to be over my knee here. Good. Blocks can be at any height if you need them. And it's okay to slide this left leg more forward. Okay, just keep a little bend in it. Good, I'm gonna lengthen my torso. Good. Now those of you that know that you've got more depth in that left hamstring, being mindful that the hamstring is in charge. So if it says no, it really means no. You can choose to stay here, or if you would like, you can walk hands or blocks more forward, keeping a longer torso as you come in this one just a little bit deeper. And then from here, I'm going to walk my hands and block them in. Good. I'm going to move that foot. Good. I'm going to take a child's pose here. And then, once you're ready, we're going to come up and we're going to get that all on the other side. So, coming up, my right foot's going to come forward. I'm going to take it way forward. Good. And then from here, just I'm going to kind of come into the bend. Knee is over behind the ankle. This knee is behind the hip. I'm going to use my blocks to help me keep a nice long torso here. I don't want to collapse in. Maybe the right hip comes back just a little bit. 
I I am bold and strong. I am bold and strong. Repeat that to yourself. And then once you're ready, good. We'll back off just a little bit. Good, now we're gonna come to that hip opener. So from here, good. I'm gonna take my right hand to my right hip. Good. I'm gonna turn to my right. Good. Maybe opening that foot, knee and hip to the right. You can choose to bend. This is an option, not a requirement. Maybe you can reach and bind. And then from here, if you've got your foot, we'll gently release. We'll come back center. Good. And we're going to come into a half split pose on the side. So hip stays over the knee here. Good. Leg can slide. The right leg can slide more forward. Keeping a micro bend in that knee. Long torso. Good. Finding that nice hamstring stretch. And again, just like before, if your hamstring will let you, you are free to take this out a little bit more. So keeping a long torso here. And then from here, good. We'll walk those hands or blocks back in. Good. I'm going to drag that foot back in and child's pose. Good. And when you're ready, we're going to come back up to our knees and we're going to come into camel. So I'm going to go through camel, um, simple complex and then um then we'll do the camel for real okay so from here no matter what version you're doing you want to keep the hips over the knees camel is dangerous to the back if you try to go into the back bend from your hips being back here okay so we always want to be up here so simple hands can come to the hips from here taking the elbows back and just trying the heart up good so that's one camel. Camel number two, you can tuck your toes, is a half camel. So you can take a block to the side if you can't come all the way back here. So, so here's one, good. Half camel, a little bit more challenging, is here, okay? And then you've got your full camel. So you can take both blocks back here if that's where you wanna go, or you can take both hands back there because that's the one that I'm going to do. Um, I'm not going to do that right now. Okay. So from here, knowing all of your options, simple to complex, choose your camel, keeping the hips forward over the knees. Head does not have to come all the way back here like mine is. Yeah, but the belly button is still in. And when you're ready, good, I'm gonna tuck my chin. I'm gonna kind of walk as I come up. I'm using that core, child's pose. Good. And once you are ready, my friends, we're gonna come up a nice comfortable seat. And we're going to take this into a Baddha Konasana, Baddha Konasana. So also known as cobbler's pose. So I'm going to take my feet together here. Good. And if you're really tight in the hips because your knees are jacked up here, you can take pillows, folded blankets, block. I recommend an angle at your block here if you're going to use that, just so it's not an uncomfortable, harsh edge. 
Um, it's easier to relax um, when you're like this. And this actually feels pretty good to me today. So I'm just going to stay right there. So with a nice pulse spine, grabbing at the shins or the feet, wherever it is that you can go. Long spine from the hip. Good breathing. And then we'll come back up. Good. So from here, I'm going to put my block to the side. And we're going to come onto our back, onto the back. So as you come onto the back, good. If you want to bring in a strap, you can. And I actually, I think I will do that today. So we're going to go into the freestyle bridge. That means any bridge of your choice that's already in your practice. So you've got your basic, just the hip lift if you want but I want to do an ankle bind variation. I can't reach my ankles from here, but I can get that same benefit if I take a strap around my ankles. Good, and come up. So any bridge of your choice that you would like, find that now. Breathing, head is center, don't turn it right or left. And then from here, once you're ready, good. we'll take that down. Good. And if you would like to stay with the strap, if you're using one for hamstring stretch, and I think I will stay as well, you can. If you don't have a strap, just take the hands behind your right leg. Let them travel up as high as you can go. Good. Upper body's going to stay grounded. You can point and flex the foot. The left, or, yeah, the left knee can stay bent or long, just kind of depending on how it feels onto your back here. And then from here, I'm just going to switch that out. And then coming to the other side, finding that stretch. And then gently releasing. Good. From here. Taking the knees into a tabletop position. It's safe to bring in a little neck pillow now if you're going to uh, use one for Shavasana. Good. Taking the knees in the tabletop. Let those knees go all the way over to the left. Good. Maybe turning your head to the right. Oh, good things are coming my way. Good things are coming my way. And then I'm going to keep it gentle. I'm going to take one leg at a time. And then from here, taking the knees over to the left. Sorry, that would be the right. And then looking to the left. How about I love myself? I love myself. And from here, one leg at a time, coming back, knees into the chest, and we'll take Shavasana. So if you're usually a skipper of Shavasana, I'm going to encourage you not to do that today. Shavasana is the essence of yoga, this pose of learning how to be still and be with yourself. And that does make some people uncomfortable. So I'm going to invite you to be a little bit uncomfortable here as we are here trying to be in stillness with ourselves for a few moments. And then the last thought I'll give you is I am open to receiving miracles and miracles are coming. I am open to receiving miracles and miracles are coming.
and taking some breaths here. Choosing stillness. Very gently taking the head and neck from side to side. Maybe a wiggle of the fingers and the toes. Choosing stillness. Taking knees into the chest. Keeping the upper body on the floor or maybe lifting up into a full body hug. And choosing stillness or letting the legs come long in front of you, arms come long behind you, getting that nice full body stretch from the fingertips to the toes. And then when ready, bending both knees and you choose Pulling over to the right or the left side. Taking all the time that you need here. And when you're ready, pressing yourself up to a comfortable seat. Where we started our practice today. Noticing how you feel. Palms turning up. We'll lift up. And touch the palms together. And as you bring them down, press the thumbs at the forehead. For good and true thought. The lips for good and kind words, and to the heart, for open and loving heart. Knowing no effort on this mat is ever wasted, no gain is ever reversed. May you be safe, may you stay well. May you have a wonderful day, evening, week, month, season ahead. Thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed this class, please feel free to like and share and subscribe. Thank you so much, namaste.